So recently, Aaron Paul has been in the news. He is one of the stars from Breaking Bad because of the way he treats his wife. Now, he's been married for about four months, and every opportunity he gets in the press, he mentions his beautiful wife, Lauren Parsekian, um, because he's so enamored by her. He's so in love with her that he just needs to share it with the world at all times. I have a few examples for you guys. He has uh, said the following, she's the greatest woman that has ever existed. No offense to other women on this planet, but she is hands down the best. Uh, Bring it down, big guy. <laughs> Here's another Sounds quote. Sounds like someone got laid last night. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, my friend, I will be in the honeymoon phase until I leave this planet. Getting married to Lauren was the greatest accomplishment of my life. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm Look, I'm already beginning to question his intelligence, let alone... <laughs> No, it's his come on, dude. Get the greatest accomplishment of my life. It's like a weird thing to say. Like it's it's a questionable use of the word accomplishment. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, okay. yeah. Did he never see Breaking Bad? I mean, that was pretty good. Too. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And, and maybe I it's uh, being unfair, and that really what I'm questioning is his state of mind. If you know what I mean. If he's been taking some of that blue stuff. Ah, the blue, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, he also has said the following, I can't even explain to you, it's just such an obsession I have. I always constantly ask her, is it weird being so perfect? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, hold on. Is it fun? Is it fun being so fun? Is it hard being the most beautiful person on the planet? It's on a daily basis. That's just how it is. No, is it fun being, being so, so fun? fun? I rest my case. Book of quotes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Doesn't it have a little uh, Tom Cruise on Oprah ring to it? Like it's yes. so over the top. I, how are I, you? I'm the best I've ever been. I can't believe it. So whenever a guy feels the need to constantly talk about how much he loves his wife or girlfriend, I feel like there's a little bit of pressure probably from the woman. She probably feels a little insecure, so he feels like he needs to constantly reassure her that he's not cheating on her and he's not a bad guy. That's interesting. I didn't take it that way at all. Uh -huh. Okay, because he's so over the top. I mean, there's it, t dozens of these comments from from him, right, mm -hmm. about her. That I, I think that he's naturally like that, right? That he's effusive in his praise, mm -hmm. etc. But I, the thing that I immediately thought is, oh, okay, then I guess she's going to cheat on him. Okay, uh. <laughs> because if you when you're that over the top and you're that <laughs> fawning, right? What does a girl do normally? Like, ah, uh, it's getting overbearing. Ah, uh, enough already. Is it fun being fun? Yeah, you know what's really fun? Another dude. Okay, one more. One more. <laughs> I, I, I gotta read this one. It says, "A day will never go by without me reminding you how special you are." Oh, who, who is he saying these quotes to, though? To the press, to his wife in front right. of the press, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. Okay, so I think that you hit on something really important when it comes to the psychology of women, and I think of men as well. Sure. So, yes. so the really exciting thing about a relationship that's starting up is the anticipation, not knowing if it's going to go anywhere. You're constantly thinking about it. You want it to go somewhere. Maybe you don't. Whatever. And there's a little bit of mystery there, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta fight for it a little bit. Um, once you take that fight away, and I understand they're married, so by the time you're married, I mean, what is there to fight for? Like, things are supposed to get boring after that anyway. <laughs> oh, you're the worst. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, tell us, married guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's, it, look, it, to me, it is the, like, you keep going back to the boring thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, but to me, the more uh, interesting element of it is, and you're right, it's both guys and girls. If one person in the relationship is like shows too much attention to the yeah. other person, for whatever reason, our DNA gets triggered, and we're like, "Oh, okay, I don't like this. Uh, now I'm, you know, it seems overbearing to me. I must not like this guy because he likes me too much. I got to go find someone else." Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've seen that happen a million times. So if this is a strategy to keep her, it's actually a very poor strategy. You, you gotta be on the same level of love or even hate. If you're even on the same level of hate, but it's exact, you'll stay together. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my you God, will. that sounds no, terrible. But if one, no, 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 if you got one real hater and then yeah. one love, then they're gonna, it's gonna, you know, fight. You hate each other the same way, you're gonna stay together for spite. Wow, okay. that sounds great. I, I, just <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was great. That's the kind of relationship I wanna be in. <laughs> uh, apparently an amazing monogamous relationship, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. and by the way, uh, that sounded serious, serious monogamous. monogamous I'm gonna have to think I, I wrote just, it down, I, just, I was like, what? I just love I David, so I'm giving David a shout out here, okay? He knows how to cook. And he's your super producer, and he makes amazing meals. That's true. Right. I, I just feel like this is unsustainable for him. Mm -hmm. And you cannot go <laughs> what, 20, 30, 40 years every day giving her a compliment like, like yeah. that, that, that was, 
either a promise that will be broken right. or a really tiring life. And I feel bad under either circumstance. Yeah. No, yeah. that's a great <laughs> point. It, you, you're going to wear yourself out. Yeah, you got to pace yourself, yep. big guy. There's okay. ups and downs. So like and flows. I do, and, and it looks really important, as we talked about yesterday on the show, to be appreciative and show you're appreciative to your wife. Okay. So you want to give her a card on her birthday and you want to write really nice things, anniversary, et cetera. That makes sense. You do it every day and, and then she becomes oh. immune to it too. Oh, so what, yeah. Like it no longer means anything. It's not even special at that point. And what happens when they're fighting? You're in the middle of a, a tense fight, but he has to compliment her. Just to, to sustain what he's promised on the front end. I think that's, that's right. That's and then she could always pull out the card of like, wait, I thought I was ah, the most, exactly. I thought I was the greatest thing that ever every happened day. to humanity. So mm -hmm. how could you possibly question me? Yeah.